So it's no longer news that South Africa denied the Nigerian under uh, 17 basketball players visa. Okay. Like, what exactly is the color of South Africans' problem? Why do you guys dislike Nigerians so much? Why? Every time there's always one banter or the other. What is happening? Anyway, guys, you're welcome back again to the channel. It's so good to have you. Thank you so much for clicking when you saw this video. Because if you know Nigeria and South Africa, you know that right from time, they've always been these very toxic people around Nigerians, okay? And it's quite unfortunate that in Africa, like within Africa, we're all experiencing all of these things, okay? Like, why are we fighting ourselves even as Africans? You go to Europe, you, you are on your own. You go to America, you're on your own. You come back to Africa too, you're also going through a lot of things from your fellow, your fellow Africans. These people don't even like to live with people. They don't just appreciate anybody. They don't like to live with people. So I saw a particular Twitter space the other day and I heard the way they were talking so bad about Nigerians. So bad about Nigerians. So you're saying that your country is a saint and you guys, are, uh, then we are the ones that have issues. Like you guys are saints in your country. You guys are saints. I'll be waiting in the column. You guys are the ones, okay, but Nigerians are the pro people that have problems. Every time. Like, why do we even need visa to Africa? Around Africa. I think I've heard with the Maya complain about this thing before. That, you know, the cost of visas across Africa. Do you know you spend more money traveling around Africa than you spend to, from your country of residence in Africa to Europe or to the US? You spend more money traveling around Africa. I have actually... Uh, I checked flight tickets from just one place to the other. This thing is just one hour trip. And you'll find out that it's the same amount that will pay maybe a flight ticket to one European country. That's what I'm paying to one country in Africa. Or just maybe $100 difference. Why are we, why are we the weapon fashion against ourselves, really? Why? South Africans every day is always looking for one thing. But tell me the reason why a uh, football team, these people are not asking for visa, tourist visa to your country to come and stay in your country or to come and visit your country. No. These people are from the federal government football team of a, a federation. A place where you have your embassy situated on. There is a South African embassy in Nigeria. And yet, and yet, you have the audacity to deny them visa to your country. Now, the ladies have already landed. Okay, the Nigerian uh, female team has already landed. But only for the male team to be denied visa. Like, how can you say you deny everybody visa? I saw in the comment section, people were saying, eh, you cannot come and play in South Africa. Eh, you come into South Africa and you stay. Who wants to stay in your country? These guys are making millions of naira they, for playing uh, for their country. They make a lot of money. And I noticed that it's usually black South Africans that have this toxicity around other African nationals. Even in my comment section, some of you come there to come and say rubbish, say anything you want. Just come and disgrace yourself in my comment section. Because I know even in this video, you are coming to disgrace yourself in my comment section. If you go to TikTok, go to Twitter, go and see what South Africans are saying about Nigeria. As if their own country is better. As if they have a better way. If a Nigerians living in South Africa, I will manage it. I don't see myself living in a country where I will... Like, I have to pretend, I will not talk, I will not do any form of, like, I have to, like, just be doing like this. Anytime I'm walking, I'm walking like Holy Mary. I cannot stay in that kind of country. Eh? So you probably have not said that every Nigerian is bad. I'm not saying that there are no bad people, but I'm just saying that how can you put shit that every Nigerian, how can you put that narrative that every Nigerian on the street of South Africa is bad? Eh? What's the call of you people's problem? Do we even have any issue with you guys? You know, most times Nigerians don't even care. Like, you see the boat to boat thing that happened. It was South Africans that started it. Now, if you look at it, why are you punishing the guys and you gave the ladies visa, but you did not give the guys visa? It doesn't make sense. Like, why are we fighting ourselves? Why?
every day South African this, South Africa that, every day that same one thing about Nigeria, just terrible, terrible thing. Maybe in my next video, I'll bring out that airspace that, uh, that they were in. They were talking very, like it was lady, so you need to see what these girls were saying about Nigerians. Then go to their comment section, go and see. Like, why are you guys like this, for God's sake? Why do you just stay like this and you say, oh, let's push a narrative about a particular country. And some of you live in our country, you work in our country, that you're, 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 there are some South African uh, businesses in Nigeria. And nobody is disturbing you people. Some of you are married to our guys. Nobody is disturbing you. But once you just see Nigeria, you are, you are already dragging. You say they're taking your jobs. Now, there is a video trending online where uh, some people were being deported from South Africa, right? And trust me, there were no Nigerians there. No single Nigerians. No single Nigerian was there. I, was, I waited for that video to end. Let me even see if I will see one Nigerian. Are you angry that we make more money than you? Or you're angry that we can achieve some of the things you cannot achieve even in your, in our, in your country? Take a Nigerian anywhere. Even inside the forest, inside the wilderness, they will survive. But I, I, I doubt if you're going to survive in such situations because you are, you're used to some kind of life. But Nigerians have gone through a lot and they can survive anywhere. We have the creativity, call it any, anything, we have it in us. But no, South Africans will not let us rest every day. There's one banter online. There's one thing that you people are dragging. What are you guys dragging with us? Like, are we holding your pants? What exactly are we dragging? Every day, South Africans is on the streets. On the streets of uh, TikTok. On the streets of uh, Twitter. Even on this YouTube street, you guys are making a narrative. Making it look like Nigerians are bad. Nigerians are bad people. When we are not even coming after you. See? Nigerians are the best friends you can actually have because when you go to any place, they are the people that will stand for you. Except you keep encountering the bad people because even you are a bad person. For you to only meet bad people, that means you have bad intentions in you. You are a bad person because likes attract likes. South Africans, why? You deny Arista, Abi Arista, visa to come and perform. So what, what exactly will you say happened? What will you say now that happened about Arista? You say that she's coming to live in your country. That girl doesn't care. You know now. You know she have money. What is exactly you people's color of problem? What, what will you say now is the reason why you denied that visa into your country? You can't say because I'm seeing the comment section. People are saying you cannot try it in South Africa. You cannot do this in South Africa. Eh, they were coming to stay. That's why we denied them. They have ulterior motives. Uh, excuse you. So now tell me why you denied Arista visa. The guys, you denied them visa saying that one thing. There was no, in fact, you guys, even the government did not give any good explanation why they had to deny that visa. People that are coming to play basketball. Is it that we, because we have won, even in your country, you guys have hosted how many times? And we won. Is that why you are doing what you are doing? If you know you are not capable enough to host a country, you don't like a particular country, then tell uh, whoever in charge, that organizations are in charge of the uh, the football team, that you guys cannot host because you don't like a particular country that will be playing in your country. You don't want them in your country. And let them give it to somebody else. Because tell me the reason why you will deny a visa of someone who is coming to play with a team. And they will go back to their country. Is it because you are scared they are going to win? It might even be you guys that even win and it won't be a problem. It's just a game. These things are just... Man, I'm just tired of South Africans. Like, you guys have problem. And you need to solve it within yourself. And this problem is starting from your mentality. I think you guys start from there. And check yourselves. Seriously. And I know that you people come to my comment section because the last time I did a South African video, I know how you guys came and were saying so many things. You guys should try and be accommodative for God's sake. It doesn't take a thing to stay close to people. To you know, people, people are life. People are doors. They are keys. It doesn't take a lot. I just have to end this video here so that I don't have to say otherwise. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to the channel, do well to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. See you guys on my next video. For now, bye.